Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to my video discussion slash review about the new DLC endings for Mass Effect 3 that just came out today, which they are the extended cut DLC endings, not just, you know, different new endings. These are just extended scenes where you see different uh, clips here and there and some added narration or something. And this, of course, is here because many people hated the original Mass Effect 3 endings, and there was a good reason for it. I mean, I didn't hate them, but I could see why. Why everybody hated them I thought it had some nice closure here and there some cool uh, scenes in the ending and it actually it, it, it managed to you know draw up some emotion for me so I still I still like them but these new extended DLC cut endings were definitely needed in my opinion but the question is, are these endings good? Well, I'm going to tell you right here. I'm not actually going to sit here and explain each one of these endings. I'm just going to tell you really quick what I think of the endings as a whole and if they are better than the original endings for Mass Effect 3. So sorry, I'm not really here to explain it or even show you the endings, but I'm going to tell you what I think of them anyway. And you know what? In the description, I'll actually you know, throw all the links for each one of the new endings. If you are one of those Mass Effect 3 players that decided to sell your game or you don't want to spend more time with the game anymore and you just want to see the endings, then I'll put the I'll put the endings in the description just in case. Alright, so now let's actually talk about the endings. And here you actually get four endings, which I think in the original Mass Effect 3 you got three endings, but here you get four, you get an extra ending, and the four are called refusal, control, Synthesis and Destroy and Synthesis, Control and Destroy are all the same ones from Mass Effect 3 and Refusal is the new one so yeah. And all four of the endings try to give more insight and uh, try to fix some of the plot holes that the endings from Mass Effect 3 caused and it does a good job all four of these endings besides maybe the refusal ending I will say but I'll explain that a little bit more um, later on but at least the synthesis control and destroy they definitely add enough there so you'll be like oh okay so all the little plot holes here and there like uh, I, I ain't gonna spoil it sorry but some of the little minor plot holes and some of the bigger plot holes they do explain in these endings so if that was your big thing then there you go they're they're fixed here because they do explain them and I do have to admit, besides just fixing some of the plot holes, it definitely gives you some emotion here. Uh, for the synthesis, control, and destroy endings, they have different narrators narrating the endings. And I'm not going to say who they are, but each time uh, each of these narrators talk uh, over the endings, the end of each of these endings when they're talking always tears me up it, it really does it's like oh no no because it's very sad it really is i'm not going to spoil what happens but it is very emotionally impactful and i really dug it i, I love the narration for the endings but there is a couple of problems with the these endings one problem i had is that they re recycle footage for each one of these endings besides the refusal ending synthesis control and destroy all use the same footage and sometimes it's of course like i said narrated over so it's a little different because different narration but you'll still see the same clips and stuff which I really did not like uh, I, I felt it was a little bit lazy and it felt like it was just being rushed out so people could stop freaking complaining and stop hating on Bioware which I, I get if they were trying to rush it out because of that but either way I still found it to be a little bit lazy and my second problem is that they show a portion in the ending again I don't want to spoil anything so I'll keep it very discreet they show a part in the ending where they show a bunch of like clips of stuff that's going on while it's being narrated over by whoever's narrating each of the endings besides the refusal ending but um they show these clips and they're not really animations they're not really in-game footage it's it's more like they're pictures but they're pictures in a comic book style so it feels very lazy because all it is is pictures being narrated over for the ending and it definitely does not feel like it should be for a Mass Effect game a big budget sci-fi epic ends with a bunch of pictures being narrated over which I just felt was very very lame again that's kinda hard to explain but if you played these endings you know what I'm talking about so while these two complaints are definitely major, I have to admit, these endings are definitely much better than the originals. I mean, it, it just invokes much more emotion, and it actually clears up some of the plot holes. Uh, it makes more sense. And sure, there are some plot holes still there, just like tiny ones here and there. And there will be times where you might miss some dialogue and just think there's a plot hole. But don't worry, most of the major plot holes are definitely just... You know, they're fixed with these DLC endings. So overall, Bioware ends Mass Effect 3 again, but this time they do it in a damn well good fashion. 
And even though I do have some complaints, like I said earlier, I definitely recommend a download for these uh, endings because if you have Mass Effect 3 and you want to experience the new endings for yourself, then that's the best way to do it. Don't just watch someone's video and go, oh, that's cool. Experience it for yourself. Play the last few levels on your own and then get back into it and feel all epic and stuff. So when you end it again, you'll be like, yeah, I just finished the fight awesome so definitely go download these i think i think they're definitely worth it there you go there's my reviews slash thoughts i guess whatever uh goodbye all right so now the review is over if you do not want spoilers go away because i'm going to explain one of the new endings that you get in this extended cut dlc it's actually the only new ending like completely new ending you get and that is of course the refusal ending and just go away because i want to explain this one because i actually have a pretty funny story to tell okay it's kind of funny it's actually really funny to me because i was there and i experienced this okay i got this ending on Com completely by mistake okay when you're talking to the catalyst and he's like all right make your three choices the destroy ending the 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 control ending or the synthesis ending you can tell him to go screw off you could say i'm not making a choice at all just go away i don't want to make a choice and if you do that then an ending cutscene will uh start and that's the refusal one i'm not gonna spoil what happens so look up look that up all by yourself okay now the thing I did, I got this on mistake, and I didn't know you could do this. I just, I walked three steps. I was like, all right, I'm going to choose the destroy ending first. Okay, and then I was like, you know what? I want to try something. So I turn around, and I point my gun at the catalyst, and I was like, I, I did a dirty Harry. I was like, you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> I was like, you feel lucky, huh? And I shot him. I was like, hey, that was funny. And then out of nowhere, a cutscene started. I was like, wait, what? But but I didn't want that to happen. So <laughs> what happens is that I shot him. He says, screw you then. And he actually starts talking like the Harbinger, the main bad guy of Mass Effect 2. Um, and he's also in Mass Effect 3 as well. But uh, uh, he starts talking like Harbinger. And that makes me think, oh, wait, is this, the, is this really the indoctrination theory maybe? I don't know. So anyway, that happens and I'm confused. And then the game ends. I'm like, oh, shit. I, I guess I have to play this over again, and luckily I started it right before uh, Shepard gets onto the Citadel, which is good because I didn't want to do that two and a half hours again, just because I screwed up and decided to go dirty hairy on a kid. So, the moral of the story is, I'm sadistic, and I like to kill children, uh, especially when the world is counting on me not to kill a little child. So, yeah, there you go. Overall, uh, I... There's my review and there's my little story. Uh, it's not really a review. It's more like my thoughts of it. So anyway, there you go. There's a little story I just wanted to add to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and goodbye.